All right, so I was expecting today to be kind of an easy day, kind of being able to film another video that I need to make to catch up on a couple things. Nope, everybody and their mom decided to drop a brand new trailer. Uh, we got the first trailer for Transformers 1, a uh, new trailer for Hitman, and a new trailer for M. Night Shyamalan's Traps. So uh, let's start with reacting to Transformers 1. Uh, this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year. I really like animated movies based off of previous IPs especially like the Spider-Verse movies, what they described about it reminded me that it would be like that. But coming out of CinemaCon, people said it's not that. And I, the trailer's been out for a couple hours currently as I am recording this. So, And people on the internet have just said that they're not the biggest fans. I'm going to give it a go, but I'm also kind of pretty worried about the movie as well. Let's get started in three, two, one, And here we go. So, how long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to him. You know what? We are so screwed! Thought you weren't talking to me. You two, come with me. Report to Waste Management. Hi there, I'm V127. I'm actually working on some nicknames. The the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron, which is actually pronounced Badassatron. Um, we're gonna call you B. I know we're just lowly worker bots who can't even transform. Don't you want to see what's out there? There's a reason no one goes to the surface. It's dangerous. Why'd you bring jetpacks? If we survive this, I'm gonna kill you! I accept those terms. Proven yourself worthy. Take these and access your full potential. It's time to show them we are more than meets the eye. We can transform now. On three, one. Ah! It's working! Where's my head? How do we use these things? Oh, look at the wheels! I need wheels! <gasps> Woo! Uh, guys, that's not good. We've got these powers for a reason. Let's use them. We stand here together. As one. Whoa! I got a battle mask! It appears with this guy! Knife hands? I have knife hands! I can see that. B, these are not the bad guys. Why did you cut the door? What? No, it was already like that. Right? Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yes. It was, yeah, yes. it was already mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's right. All right, so the first trailer for Transformers 1. Again, one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Yeah, um, I'm beginning to retake that sentence. I like the humor. I thought it was genuinely pretty funny. I love the voice cast. Chris Hemsworth is just melting into this role. But I thought this was going to be kind of like a serious movie about why Optimus Prime and Megatron don't like each other and are mortal enemies. And while uh, Megatron wants to destroy the world, this just looks like a generic bunch of robots try to save the planet type of movie. It doesn't look like a Transformers movie. It looks like it's definitely going for a lower audience than I would expect it to. I'd expect a movie like this to try to go for all audiences, but uh, that trailer is just kind of a, felt like a generic kids movie. And when they first described the trailer out of CinemaCon, 
that's what I had feared it would be. When I saw the buzz on the internet after the trailer released this morning, that's what I feared it would be. And after I just watched the trailer, that's still what I fear it will be. I do like the humor. I laughed quite a bit during that trailer. I like the cast. I, like I said, I really love Chris Hemsworth in the role. Looks like there could be some cool action sequences, and it'd probably be an enjoyable movie, but it's not at all what I want from this trailer, or what I wanted from this movie. So, there's going to be need some serious marketing to uh, get the hype back on for this one, because right now it just looks like a generic children's movie. Now we got Glenn Powell's new movie, Hitman. I had no expectations for this at all until the poster dropped yesterday. I was like, oh, okay, I kind of dig that poster. So let's see if the trailer can really get this one uh, implanted in my head. Three, two, one, let's do this thing. No, 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 I don't buy it. What? You're not a hitman. You can't be. I tried looking you up at nothing. It's like you don't even exist. I guess I'm just your fantasy. So what's the biggest difference between the real you and your occupation? By the way, my name is Gary Johnson and I'm a fake hitman. I realized not everyone fantasized about the same hitman. Every sting operation was a performance. Oh. This is serious. I am in service business. And each arrest was like a standing ovation. Okay, Daniel Day. <laughs> I had it down to a science. Sounds lovely. Until things got, well, wrong. Complicated. Medicine. We're expecting heavy turbulence. So prepare to brace for impact. Too scary. No. Remember the lady came in trying to have her husband killed that we let go? No, that he let go. Yeah, her husband was just found dead. I'm sorry, what happened? From my perspective, you're getting a little sloppy. She think you're Gary? Or the hitman? My name is Gary Johnson, and my simple question for you is, who is your hitman? We'll see. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sure interested in that trailer. It's a movie that I had no hype for at the beginning of the year. Now I'm kind of looking forward to a fun Netflix movie about Glenn Powell being a hitman. The thing that stands out is Glenn Powell is a great actor, and he looks like he's having a lot of fun in this movie, and that he'll be another great actor in this one as well. Just the central idea of him being this hitman who's like completely different person for each of his cases. That is a cool idea, and it looks like there could be some cool action sequences. There were a couple times it made me chuckle, which is always a good thing for Netflix originals. It looks like it's also going to go to a lot of romance, which the, that one scene where it's like, I'm the captain, prepare for turbulence or something like that, it, it's really unnecessary to put in the trailer, but... Um, the thing that sticks out with me here is it doesn't really give anything away about the plot by while also showing what the movie is, if that makes any sense, because the main character, it shows us who he is, but we don't know the mission he's on. We see that he falls in love and that he's getting sloppy, but we don't really know who the bad guy is or who he's got to kill or anything like that. And that's the thing that really stuck out to me about the trailer. I'm not super hyped for this one after that one. I thought it was just a pretty good trailer. Of course, I definitely have some reservations still going into it. It's a Netflix movie. You always got to mention that you're nervous for every movie if it's a Netflix movie. But I think for the first trailer, 
I think it's solid. It comes out next month, so it's probably the only trailer we're going to get. And it definitely put the movie more on my radar than it was. I'm excited for the movie because I like Glenn Powell, and it looks like a fun Netflix original movie. Now, let's do the trap trailer. Man, I'm excited for this. Okay, so just while we're clear, while the uh, ad is going, I hate M. Night. I do not like M. Night. I, I only like a few number of his movies, but I think he's on a hot streak right now. His last movie was one of my favorite movies of last year, and whatever they described from the trailer at CinemaCon made this movie sound absolutely awesome. I'm excited. Two, one, let's do this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. I got to tie my shoe. No, dad jokes, this is serious. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, Lady Raven. Lady Raven. Lady Raven. This is slap dad. Thank you. Thank you. This is literally the best day of my life. Jamie. What's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to tell. Something happening? Don't rat me out. I won't. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. Watching all the exits, checking everyone that leaves. There's no way to get out of here. I'm sorry, Riley, what was that? Your daughter's never gonna forget this day. You're kinda dope, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, the moment they described the footage from CinemaCon, I was excited. And now that we've seen that footage, whew, I am excited for this movie. I am beyond excited for the movie. Again, not an M. Night fan, but his last movie is really good. Had a unique premise. Excelled on that premise. This movie has a unique premise. And it looks absolutely terrifying and intriguing and just all around everything I want. The premise of a trap at a concert to catch a killer, but our main character is the killer, is so, so cool to where I am just like, wow, that is a premise that is one of the coolest premises I have heard in a while. And that trailer excelled on it. I am super, super Super excited for this movie. That was a phenomenal trailer. It looks, again, terrifying. Like, the guy looks so unlikable but likable at the same time. The only worries I had going into this trailer was, like, how are they going to make a whole movie based off a guy who's at a concert the entire time? But it looks like it's going to exhale on that. Man, oh, man. I am blown away by that trailer. That was awesome that is now my most anticipated movie for the rest of the year except kingdom of the planet of the apes and deadpool 3 
that movie is something that I'm really, really looking forward to, and I did not expect to go into this year really looking forward to an M. Night Shyamalan movie. What is your reactions to all three of the trailers we talked about today? Please let me know down below in the comment section below. I got a bunch more videos coming up. The Ghostbusters trailer ranking, well, it's already out because I already edited it. I just have not uploaded yet. And with that said, thank you guys for clicking on this video and subscribe to Leonard Army. Peace out.